Ahlan everyone. Here it's an amazing recipe of kheer and puri. It's so delicious, so melt in mouth that you will love making it. Around the festive season and on traditional occasions, we love to make this kheer and puris and it is so yummy. So it requires very easy ingredients. Let's start. All you need is 2 kg of all purpose flour. You can use any brand all purpose flour. Here I am making in a little huge quantity so I am just taking 2 kg. You can divide it by half if you want lesser quantity. So I have added 1 teaspoon of salt into 2 kg of all purpose flour. Mix it well with the fork. To this add 1 cup of semolina or rava. Again mix it well. Add 3 fourth cup of butter, soft butter at room temperature and mix well with your hands. Today I'll be making two kinds of stuffings for the puri. One is the dry fruit and coconut stuffing and the other one is the halwa or the puran stuffing. Both are equally delicious. Now add two cups of oil to the flour. Again mix it well, here you need a lot of handwork, so you need to be get ready for the messy hands. Here you need half a liter of milk, whole milk and uh, you need to use it gradually and knead well. As you can see I am still mixing it all the ingredients and making it well combined. I haven't added water yet. So I will be using around 600 ml of water and you may require more or less. So adjust the quantity and make it into a soft dough like this. I have transferred into a big container or a big pot because it was little small for me. So as you can see it's bouncing back soft dough. So here is the dough and cover it with a wet cloth and keep it aside for 1 or 2 hours. As the dough is kept for 2 hours, by the time we will be making the stuffing that is the dry fruit stuffing. For that we need a big bowl. You need 250 grams of desiccated coconut. Add 1 cup of sugar to it. Add 1 teaspoon of ground cardamom. To this add 1 cup of slivered almonds. 1 cup of slivered cashew. One cup of chopped walnuts, it's optional, one cup of raisins and half cup of pistachios to the bowl. It's fully loaded and so nutty and so delicious filling we are, which we are going to put into the puris. Mix it so well that all the ingredients are well combined. This doesn't require any cooking, you just need to mix all the ingredients that all the dry fruits or the coconut everything into it and keep it aside. This filling is ready, this is called as choba or, or it has different names in different regions. It's just so perfect with all the dry fruits and nuts everything into it. You can adjust the amount of the dry fruits whichever you like, you can add more or less, so it's up to you. Moving to our next filling which is the dal or halwa filling. This puran requires 2 cups of chana dal also called as Bengal gram. It has different names. To that add 2 glasses of water and pressure cook until it's done. It's, it should be softened perfectly. We need to grind it as well. My dal is almost done, it's so soft and uh, to this I'll be adding 1 cup of sugar. You can adjust the amount of sugar if you want more or less again. So 1 cup is enough for me. Blend it well into a fine paste.
Now this dal has turned into a silky smooth paste. To this half teaspoon of saffron, half teaspoon of cardamom powder and mix well. You need to cook this until the sugar melts. I have been cooking this for 5 minutes. As you can see this looks just perfect. Now for the glaze and for the flavor I am adding 4 teaspoon of ghee or you can also add some clarified butter. It's up to you. But see that you are adding unsalted butter to the halwa. It's almost done now. Cook it for a couple of minutes and the halwa is ready. If you call it as dal halwa or if you call it as the puran halwa, it's one and the same. The recipe is just awesome for anything what you want it for. Here the puri dough has been sitting for 2 hours. So now it's time for making the puris. Just remove the cloth and you can see the dough has turned into so soft and so good textured. It's, it's awesome and perfect for the puris. This is the 2 kg dough and I'll be dividing this dough into two equal halves. The one half I'll be using it for the puris and the other half will be into the freezer. So basically whenever you want you can remove it from the freezer, thaw it for some time and you can use it for making puris the next time too. So this half goes into the freezer and one half will be used right now. Roll the dough on the counter and for the handling purpose I have divided again into two equal halves and I will be working with the other half right now. So just roll it and make it into an elongated structure so that you can cut into small portions for the puris of course it will not be like the flatbread uh, portions it will be little bit smaller ones for the puris you can see i'm just making a one inch diameter kind of portions As I am done with making the portions of this dough, I will be covering it with the wet cloth again and keeping it in the container so that the dough doesn't dries up. Sprinkle some water on the cloth so that it remains moist. Cover it well and keep it aside. It's time to rock and roll, I mean to roll the puris. Roll well, do it same as you do it for the flatbread or the chapatis and make it into not too thin and not too thick ones. It requires little efforts and dedication but believe me this is worth trying because at the end of the day you can relish on this yummy puris relaxing on your couch. And moreover you will be much elated to hear others praising your recipe so it is worth trying, do try it. Here comes the easiest part. Just take the puri and put spoonful of stuffing into it. You can add little more if you want but do not add it excess of it because it may lead to you know puncture or the rupture of the puri. So add adequate amount of stuffing into the puri. Apply water on the sides and fold the puri. Press it nicely so that it doesn't open. It's ready. You can fry it as it is or you can be little fancy by doing some artwork on the puri. By some twists and turns it will look more beautiful and more presentable in fact. You can keep it simple or you can go for some twisty kind of designs. It's up to you or you can use a simple fork and mark the design on the corners of the puris. So it, you can be little innovative while making the puris. So here is a sample puri what I have made here. So you need to make this kind of puris and uh, keep it aside and you can do it the same process for the halwa or the puran puri. Keep the water beside you and apply the water, fold it and then 
do the design or whatever you like or keep it simple my kids do participate in this activity and they really enjoy it so well so it is a kind of a family work and a family thing and we enjoy making this puris this part brings all the family members together and we really enjoy this with a cup of coffee by the side chit chatting and this is the lovely part what we really wait for every time when we make puris it's not only about making a recipe it's about making memories that is creating memories and sharing each other's experience it's worth so these traditions gives the feeling of togetherness and love Now as they are ready we'll be moving on to other segment of frying them. Take a pan add some oil into it let it heat and the oil shouldn't be too hot it should be medium hot add a puri and keep frying the simplest task. At this moment my little one was jumping in the kitchen for the first puri so I was just waiting for the first one to give it to my little one. They have fried beautifully. The color is like golden brown and uh, it's time to serve now. You can serve by simply stacking the puris. Isn't that so tempting and you want to grab one? Of course, I am sure that you will love to grab one. It's so tempting and delicious. These puris have different names. Call it as gujia, karanji or the simple puri, halwa puri or can be called as the choba puri, puran puri. So it has different names in different regions, but it has the same love. an authentic taste and roots you to the tradition and gives immense happiness and pleasure and binds all the family members together at the occasions and of course enhances the joy of occasions so you can definitely make it and can be the reason for someone's happiness as happiness is priceless here comes the best part tasting time so let's taste It's so crusty and crispy, the perfect crunch when you bite a puri and inside it's filled with the nuts and the sugary mix. It's so delicious. It gives you the heavenly taste at one bite. Mm, mm. it's so delicious and yummy. Here we have more puris to fry. all arranged well and they are waiting to be fried i might have end the video earlier but i wanted to show all the work done and which requires lot of effort and this is the behind the scene videos so here i have kheer prepared it's not been shared in the video but if you really want me to share the recipe of the kheer do let me know and comment below the video was getting too long so i just ended up here garnish the kheer with some slivered nuts which i have already done it it was little easier for me and it's time for serving the puris with the kheer the traditional way the most authentic and the traditional way of eating the puris is with the kheer we love to eat this puris with the kheer like dipping a puri into the kheer and with a crackling sound into your mouth and which is really melting in mouth it's delicious 
how do you find this recipe comment down below and if you really like it hit the bell icon and the like button and get notified with the recent new recipes on time and remember do follow us on instagram and facebook try this recipe and do enjoy it with your family and friends and create memories and when we look back we find the wonderful and lovely time spent with our loved ones i'll come up with another interesting and scrumptious recipe till then take care and masalama